Alright, so here's the thing. Uh, my game was not responding, so I just left it long enough, and it actually, the game did crash, but it let me save before, and all I had to do was that last battle again, and we're back. So I didn't have to go run and do that, and uh, Troll did actually evolve this time, so this thing definitely lived up to its name. Look at it, it's got a little goatee. <laughs> Trollurk. So, uh, yeah, I was pretty worried about that. I, did, I thought this thing was going to actually end up crashing my game for good, but it turns out that we're okay, so... Now we're just right back where we left off. I don't care about battles anymore. It just delays the fulfillment of our plan. We got the windstone. That's all we need for the moment. You twerps won't be able to take down Team Lunar. Smoke screen. <laughs> and then they uh, they go and disappear. So, well, we saved this uh, this hiker guy. What was that? Who were those guys? What were they talking about? Windstone. Solaran and Lunaro. This guy's like, I'm just a filthy casual. I have no idea what's going on. It's none of my business, I guess. I'll leave this tunnel as fast as I can. And uh, he doesn't even give us anything. Hello, we just saved you, buddy. But we, that's fine. So now they have the windstone. That only leaves one more stone to be found. This isn't good, Hayden, but as long as you have that core stone with you, their plans won't work. By the way, Green Pine City isn't far from here, just through the end of this tunnel. I'm heading there now. I'll contact the professor and tell him about this new incident. But first, let me heal your Pokemon. Thank God we, we needed a nice little healing because uh, didn't do too hot in that last battle, but we turned out okay. Nobody died. So uh, that's fine. See you in Green Pine City, Hayden. All right. Well, we're finished with that. We can go ahead and grab this here. TM62 for acrobatics. Nice. And let's actually take a look at our new troll buddy. Don't be going and crashing my game anymore. Yeah, so I think we actually have to give this thing a stone for it to evolve next. But uh, this thing's pretty cool. It's got really high physical attack, which is great. Um, and dark fairy type is super cool. And he's got a badass goatee, so we're about it. Anyway, we'll head into the old temple. There's always an item in here for us to grab. It is a flying gem, so that's cool. We can't go any farther in here, but I, I'm assuming there's going to be some legendary shit that we can do once we kind of finish up all these temple thingies. But for now, we just got to get out of this cave. I assume that's really all there was for us to do. We can actually go ahead and bust out the old flashlight, which is already selected. And uh, let's get it. Also, we can grab this item that I wanted to grab last time, but there's a damn Pokemon guarding it. It's one of these little Cyrils, little snakey boys. Um, so you know what, we're actually just going to kill you, because uh, we can, and take the Shadow Ball. Snakey. Little donut lad. I really need to hatch this egg and train up Sol or Trollurk. We found a Twisted Spoon, that's kind of nice. But yeah, so eventually, off screen one of these days, I'm going to have to go ahead and hatch that damn egg, because it's going to turn into a cool ass dragon. I think it's that um, grass dragon, or, or something, poison dragon, I don't know. But that should be exciting. I don't know if we're going to end up using it. Because like I said, in this game, without the access to like speed up or anything, we it, it takes forever to grind. Like, an insane amount of time. Even with a lucky egg. But, you know, we'll see. That's why we're just going to try to keep everything alive from here on out. Although I don't seem to be too good at doing that. But we're going to kill this here Cyril again. Please get out of my way. I don't know how much farther we have in this cave. But can't be too much farther. I feel like that's probably all there is to do here. Ooh, another item. TM 103 for Ominous Wind. That's fitting for this spooky ass cave. And damn it, so many wild Pokemon. Please. You clown gulpin. Get out of here. Hypnopuff. Kind of a cool, kind of a cool name. Little puffy boy. We do have an elixir. Nice. And we should probably battle the psycho psychic guy. Do we already battle you? Train my psychic skills in this tunnel. Let me show you. Yeah, we've not gone have not gone south in here, so we'll, we'll just go ahead and shadow ball the shit out of Pacey's Hypnopuff here. Level 42. So, yeah, we're 10 levels higher. We should be okay here. It's weird because a lot of the, the boss battles are difficult, like high level. And then the random trainers like this come at you with 42s. Like, what? what is this? Next is a Nap Kid. A little ghosty lad. I forgot about Nap Kid. He's literally a kid inside of a napkin. With some blue ass eyes. And slowly but surely we're getting some experience. Next is a snoozy. What the hell's a snoozy? Have we seen a snoozy before? We have not. Look at this little guy. I kind of like this thing. He's snoozing. Taking a little nap, huh, buddy? Well, you dead. And, uh, alright, we'll be on our merry way after we take this lad's money. My skills are still at work. Sure are. Gotta work on your skills, friend. Okay. I really just want to go to the next damn city and see what's gonna happen. I'm actually really interested in this story. There's been so much hype up. They, really nothing has happened. We just keep going to new areas. We find new temples. They grab a new stone. But we're pretty close to, I think, seeing what the old climax is going to be. A little Banshriek. 
I'm just gonna run from you and there is a hiker. He turns at us immediately. If I win, could you show me the exit? I guarantee you the exit is like right there. Every time anybody asks for directions, it's always just right, it's like right there. Okay, you got a golem though, level 43. I think Shadow Ball knocks you out. Sure does. Ranja, an absolute threat with the special attacks though. We go to 53, looking good. Next is a Cosmet. Don't remember what the hell a Cosmet is. No, it's that damn thing. Um, do we flamethrower these? It's an Iron Dolge on us. I don't know. I don't remember what the hell that even is. Why you're faster? Does that just go first? Critical hit, gonna knock you out. Not very effective though. All right. That's totally fine. He's a. All right. Sorry, Cosmet. Troll good to level 40. So we're getting kind of close to being able to use him, I guess, like, at least against random trainers. Oh, okay, I thought that, oh, it is a shiny. <laughs> I was like, wait, I thought this was a shiny, and then I thought it wasn't. We just found ourselves a shiny Cosmet, lads. And uh, that's kind of cool. Well, I mean, we have to catch it. I can't not catch it. Let's throw some, throw some Will-O-Wisps at you. Of course, we miss. Um, this thing has ancient power, so yeah, that actually hurts. You're only level 38, though, so that's totally fine. Let's just try to burn it again. Thank you for connecting. All right, shiny Cosmet. I don't know if this thing evolves, but I mean, a rock electric type, I assume, seems pretty damn cool. Let us try to huck some balls with this thing. So that's one of the first, first ones I've found, like actually, like not grinding. So that's kind of cool. We got hella shinies. So with shiny claws, obviously we're able to catch them. So we're just gonna we're just gonna add you to the to the box just to see. Young Sparkly Boy. It is Electric Rock. Cosmet may sometimes land on the ground from a lack of energy. Uh, they would wait for Thunder to strike down on them, then take off into the sky once more. So these things are cool because they have Levitate, and that is a super nice ability for an Electric Rock type. This thing is heavy as hell, though. Alright, we'll give you a nickname. And we're going <laughs> to check this out, boys. Ballin lives again. Going to have to switch into this thing real quick one of these days. Alright, so we got a shiny Ballin. And that's pretty damn cool. I guess I'll have to figure out if that thing evolves, but... Let's see if we can find some more shinies. Oh my god, I thought there was a second one in a row. With the color change in the beginning when it before it lights up, it, it, they always look different. Found ourselves a hyper potion. We need that because I've been using the shit out of my hyper potions these days. But, ooh, we got a double battle here, huh? Well, Dracula and Ranja probably good. Doo -doo. They're probably just going to have psychic types. Yeah, I mean, look at the exit is right here. That guy just walk like a hundred more feet. You can find the exit, friend. All right. Four Pokemon here. Randolph's got a Hypno Puff, and Rain has a Cybril. So, just a couple of level 43s, not too scary. We can just Shadow Ball you and Crunch on you, sir. I wonder if there's going to be a damn gym in this next city. I assume there is. It's been forever since we've been able to battle in a gym. And my body is ready. I don't know if my Pokemon are, but yeah, I'm ready. Bam, 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 bam. Next is another Cyril, and okay, nice, real original. They just switched. Cool, friends. Luckily, these things just die nice and easy. See you later, little donut guy. I can't get over how Hypno Puff is literally just a gulpin. Why are you? Why are you gulpin? Bam, 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 bam. You can leave the tunnel. That's what I'll be doing. Thank you. I didn't know I needed your permission, but thanks. All right. We have now arrived in Green Pine City. And uh, this place be looking pretty quaint. I like it. I like to share my knowledge with young trainers to train grass-type Pokemon and help them become the best they can be. Don't have a grass-type in your party. What a shame. Well, damn it. Okay, uh, let's go find the Poke Center here. Check out what is popping. Get a nice little heal going. And then I guess we'll just explore around. We haven't been prompted to really do anything, but there's probably some... Some type of shenanigans going on here, you would assume. Where are we able to... Are we able to go even further down? Let's take a look at the Poke Gear real quick. Um, yeah, so if we go down, there's just a whole bunch in the area. We have Cyro, Cyro Town, Crystal Cave, which sounds badass, Snow Peak Village, and then Subhail City. So after that, that's all there really is, and then we can head over to this area, which is the Ricardo League. So we're kind of getting there. Slowly but surely. we got a bunch of little... Some little markets going on. Do you need some berries? Um, so they sell some berries. Very expensive ass berries. My God. It's making things dipped in gold or what? What's up, guy? Selling gems, which I found on my hicks. I think he's found some gems on his hicks. Uh, so these are actually decent. They just raise the power of whatever type they are. So 
We'll just go ahead and take a note that those are there. Before we get into too crazy shit, I should probably rethink my hold items. I'm the energy guru. What do you want? This guy's got uh, a bunch of expensive EV items. Not really going to mess with that. What's up, guy? Evolution stones. Hey, I believe I do. Um, one of these of all, maybe it's not one of these. I think I have to get it from somewhere else. I could get a water stone and go evolve my shiny um, seaweed thingy, but we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that. I don't remember which exact stone it is that I need to to evolve my troll guy, but Ooh, wait, this guy talking about HMs? Nobody uses HMs anymore, but they're still useful and strong moves. I have them if you want. You can buy them. Cool. Well, uh, I mean, waterfall and strength or waterfall and surf are really the only useful ones. Twenty grand for these damn things. Do I even need, I mean, I guess Surf is a little bit higher damage than Scald for Happy, but I don't think we really need it. Also, I could use Fly, maybe. Let's buy Fly. I'm not even sure which ones I really need. Why would anybody buy Cut? Because I guess we could use Fly for, I mean, no, never mind, Dracula has fucking acrobatics. Didn't even need Fly, but you know, whatever. We just like to spend 20k on random shit. That's fine. Let's go ahead and check out some houses here. Y'all got a gym in the city? Hello? Preventing the foe using items in battle can be very useful. You should teach this move to your Pokemon. And we obtained TM63 for Embargo. Embargo is a pretty dumb... I mean, I guess it could be useful, but... My Miss Tablet isn't the fastest Pokemon, but with Trick Room, it can attack first. Here, try this. And we get TM92 for Trick Room. Which, again, not really going to end up using that. Ooh, we found a full restore in the trash can. Finally! The trash can has something good. <laughs> The trash cans never have anything, but we're, we're stoked. All right. Thank you for that. We'll go ahead and check out what's going on in here. Oh, it's locked. So that means there's some crazy shit going on in there. We we'll crossed the old bridge. Yeah, this place is pretty big. Got a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, uh-oh. It's going to be a freaking rival. It's Kira. Okay, we like her. Hey, Hayden. How are you? Pretty good. Bailey, the gym leader of Green Pines. Jim isn't here at the moment. He's in Tropic Jungle. Uh, the gym guy said he should be back soon, though, so I'm going to stick around until he gets back. One more thing, take this. And we obtained a board motor. What? We get to surf faster? They were on sale in the market and selling fast, so I got one for you. You might need it sometime. It's great for climbing waterfalls. Oh, okay. So we basically just got the HM for waterfall. That's pretty cool. Interesting. So I assume we're supposed to head into the tropic jungle over that way. Here's the gym. Yo, champ in the making. Bailey, the gym leader of Green Pine City, isn't in this gym at the moment. He's out in tropic jungle conducting research. On special flowers. What the hell's up with gym leaders never being at their gym? Like, you're terrible at your jobs. What's happening here? Gym leader of the city is one of the best botanists in the whole world. He loves researching new flowers, especially in the tropic jungle. So, grass type boy, huh? All sorts of flowers all over the place. Can't even walk in those. Don't want to mess up the flowers, apparently. What's happening? Bailey, the gym leader, uses grass type Pokemon. They're weak against fire, bug, and ice types. You shouldn't use water or ground type. Thanks for the tip, buddy. Do you train grass type Pokemon here? Take this, it may help you, and we get ourselves a grass gem. I have so many gems. It's fucking ridiculous. And another empty trash. And nothing up here. Alright, so I guess it's time to just head into the old Tropic Thunder. And it seems like there's really nothing else for us to do, although we haven't been in we haven't been in these houses. I might as well thoroughly check out the place. Have I I haven't been in here, right? My name is Daisy. I'm a Pokemon groomer, which means I can give one of your Pokemon a massage, which will raise their happiness. Uh, we don't really need happiness. None of my Pokemon evolved through that, so that's fine. Official name raiders. We can change the nicknames and stuff. Um, so that could be that could be cool, I guess. I should actually. Yeah, we're probably we're fine. We're we're fine. False alarm. Okay. Uh, let's see what's going on here. And then that's it. Just one dude sitting at an empty table. You look kind of tough, but the gym here is tougher. Unless you give your Pokemon the right items to hold. I'm going to want what I have to offer. Light clay, grip claw, binding band, or nothing. Did I have to buy that? What the hell even is a binding band? Don't let me down now. Okay, wait, what, what's binding band? Hello? I have so many items. I have a nugget there I need to sell to. Binding band. Increases the power of binding moves when held. So that is completely useless. Might as well just toss that shit out. What? What? Hello? What would I need that for? Thanks, random guy. I mean, I appreciate the nice gesture, but I got like the worst item he had. Okay, it's time to head over this way. 
where we have Route 15, and you know what that means. We can catch the first wild Pokemon we come across. That should be fun. Um, we could also, I guess, just start putting Troll in front for... I guess just testing it out. We'll go for it. I'm going to run in behind me. Freaking scary. All right, first encounter here is a Charlotte, and that does not matter. We don't need you. It's level 40 as well, though. I'm kind of, I'm kind of afraid. It's going to fell Stinger, which isn't too strong. And we hit beat up, which hits six times, or actually only five times, because we have an egg with us. Well, we might as well just kill this thing while we're here. More fell stingers. I might actually just not use troll. See, look, this is what happens. Freaking poison touch me, like a dick. But at least you know, troll gonna get his first knockout. Look at them back muscles, though. We do not want to mess with this thing. I'm excited to see what it turns into eventually. But okay, let's just get rid of that. Um, I just an antidote. Yeah, I'm just gonna use an antidote because I don't want to run all the way back. And you know what, troll? You're, we're gonna we're gonna end up using you later. We get play rough at like 51, which is gonna be the only freaking useful thing. But that's fine. Okay. We'll put Dracula in front. Seems like we're gonna have some grass types. The best bug catcher of the world. The best bug catcher of the world, huh? Okay, interesting. And Geronimo, sick name though. He's got a bug ray, which we have not seen a bug ray before. Seems kind of cool. Also seems like you're gonna die to this acrobatics, buddy. Level 44, you weak as hell. Sayonara. Don't be getting too much experience these days. Next is a stick gut. We love these things. Young stick gut. Catch this baddix, boy. I really wish I didn't kill my stick it. Dracula does grow to 54. Looking good. No more bugs. Yep, no more bugs for you. We're gonna actually probably have a decently easy time at this gym because we have... We have Ranja and Dracula, as we're going to put Ranja in front to get to 54 as well. But So I assume we can't use our new boat motor until we beat the gym, as usual. But, ooh. Now we have a Parabo. So I guess this does technically count as our first encounter here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and will o -wisp you. What type is this thing? It's just going to crush Claw. Okay, that's fine. Usually when I just burn stuff and then huck random balls at it, it works out. It seemed to be working lately so let's just uh let's give it our best shot we have 23 ultra balls i should probably try to restock on those eventually but i think we're for now we're probably good no all right that thing did not even shake screech you dickhead screech has got to be the funniest move you literally it, it literally just screams at you so much that your defense drops you're like sweet jesus <laughs> like i'm letting my guard down because of this fucking annoying noise Okay, we cannot we cannot catch this damn thing. With that screech, it actually does quite a bit of damage with that crush claw, even though it's burnt. So you know what? We're switching into Donna on your ass. I should I could probably weaken this thing with Troll. But uh, see now it has uproar. This thing is a super annoying Pokemon. It just yells at you, screeches at you. Please just let me catch you. I have a good feeling about this one. Come on, come on, buddy. All right, not even not even a wiggle. Why is this thing's catch rate so difficult? So it's just gonna continue to uproar. If the burn kills it before I can catch it, 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 this thing deserved to just die. I'm trying to give you a good home inside of my PC box, because I odds are I probably won't use you. But hey, we get it. If shit hits the fan, we might have to just completely have a whole new team. And in that case, we have a lot of stuff in there. So, all right, normal flying type, history's most famous sailors. And infamous pirates are often depicted alongside Parabo due to their incredible nature navigation, natural navigation skills at sea. Cool. Well, we... After my good buddy Garrett, we're going to name this thing Perry. Because I believe that's what he names his Chatots. And yeah, it seems fitting, so... Perry the Parabo has been caught, and that was a damn hassle, but we did it. Next, we find a Max Potion. Thank you for that. And we'll take it. And an old-fashioned double battle, huh? Well, my team's kind of hurting a little bit, so should we should probably heal up. What do I have other than Hyper Potion? Pretty much just Hypers, right? Max Potion. Oh, no, I have Supers. We'll just use some Supers here. How about that? Yeah, that's probably enough. Get one to Donna, too. And then we'll also need to switch up the second lead because we don't want to use Troll. And we'll go with, uh, we'll go with Young Dracula. All right, let's get it. This music crazy as hell. We're going to Tropic Jungle for our studies. I'll show you what I've learned in school. 
about to give me a lesson, huh? Alright, school kids. You got a Dartoad, 45 and a Loon Ape, so 45 is not bad. Not too shabby. Uh, we're going to Shadow Ball you, and then we'll Acrobatics you. How about that? We got something for all y'all. This is an all-you-can-KO buffet out here. And we hungry. Thank you for going to level 41, troll. Shadow Ball should do the trick on this thing. Yes, it does. Loon Ape's a pretty cool Pokemon. I like that. It seems like it could be a legendary, almost. Considering we're playing Lunar Dark, you'd think Loon Ape would be an important mod to the story or something. Who knows? Alright, continuing. We got another damn trainer. Sweet Jesus. Is this the right way to Tropic Jungle? Yes, then I have time for a battle. I bet you do. Eugenia. Sick name as a dove heart. Well, a little dove heart boy, you better get flamethrowered. So yeah, we are honestly pretty high leveled for a lot for a lot of these trainer battles. But I ain't complaining. Next is another dove heart. Double dove hearts, huh? Oh, it's a male one. You got the pink and the blue boy. Wow, that didn't even kill it. Why did this one take that one so much better? Do the guys have fucking better defense? Why? Why would you put me to sleep? I can't believe you've done this. Please wake up. Okay, we're gonna have to use like a damn awakening here or something. Peaceful wind. What the hell does that mean? And then you peaceful wind, and then just dies to a burn. So sorry about that, little fella. Back to the route. Okay. Well, now we're asleep. So I'm sure I have an awakening in here somewhere. Yes, I do. I have one awakening, so that'll just clear out the bag a little bit. I have an insane amount of items. My bag is like a fucking black hole. Also, are we have we made any progress on this egg? What are we working with here? Doesn't seem close to hatching. Damn it! What the fuck, egg? Okay, so we got some berries over there, but I cannot be asked to go grab those, so heck it. Can you handle my bug Pokemon? I sure hope so, considering I have a fire ghost behind me. You got yourself a little bug ray. This thing looks kind of cool. What type would this be, though? Probably just a flying bug. Doesn't seem like it has too many crazy things about it, but it seems kind of neat, like a weird ninjask. And a Caspring. We have seen these little jumpy boys. The Jumple evolution. Caspring. I remember I remember your name now, buddy. Look at them thighs, though. That's He can jump high as fuck. He's springy. Alright, Ron just is out here killing the game, though. Where the, is this the jungle? I thought I would be entering into like like something different, but apparently this is uh <laughs> this is it. Where is the damn gym leader? What's up, buddy? Be quiet! I can't catch anything. And then we battle, so we're just gonna go ahead and make a ruckus now. If you wanted to be quiet, this is not the place to do it. Smackwa. Um, we have the wrong type in front now. We sure do. Uh, let's go into Dracula. Probably we can take anything. Only level 44. Look at this weird ass fucking punching lizard aqua slam ouch that actually hurts quite a bit but acrobatics should do it so i guess we kind of do need to be at this level because if i was any lower if i was at this thing's level that aqua slam would have fucked me up but we gucci troll get a 42 nice next is the angelite so that's the little uh, little angelfish guy and we're gonna give you a crunch because i want to get some bloodthirst back how about that and we drop your defense for absolutely no reason but that's fine Get a little bit of health back. Does he have fairy moves? It seems like it would be a fairy. So it is now under the water, and of course we cannot touch it, but it's going to hit us with a dive, so that's fine. Just dove into the dirt somehow. I don't ask questions. Pokemon don't make any damn sense. But you dead. Alrighty then. Not too shabby. Bunch of experience there. Not quiet enough. Well, dude, bruh, you just dove under the water. I'm sure that was pretty loud. Okay. You look important. Are you the gym leader? My birds will beat you. Nope, he just, he's just got some crazy hair because he's a bird guy. <laughs> These fucking bird people, man. So weird. You have an aroma. So that's the grass bird thingy, right? You don't like flamethrowers. You don't look like you would. No, you don't. Get destroyed. So we're close to 55. I feel like we probably don't need to be much higher than 55 for this gym, considering we still have a good couple gems even after that, which is ridiculous. I have a feeling the Elite Four is going to be like level 100, and I'm not going to be able to win this Nuzlocke. That's going to be... It's going to pretty much be insane. But, you know, we're going to give it our best shot, I guess. 
because I don't see myself doing too much grinding. We're probably just going to end up going with what I have. So being over leveled now is just kind of help for later. Oh my God, Chatter confused me. And you know what? We don't even play that shit. We don't risk anything around here. We're switching into happy. Because Dracula is going to hit himself. You're going to hit me with some crazy ass move I've never seen. Get a critical hit. And it's just going to be a bad time. Okay, drill peck. That's fine. Yeah, see, there's the crit. I called it. I done called it. Click attack to knock you out. Happy's going to be 55 here. We're close. Yep. Level 55, boy. Next is a Parabo. Um, for Parabo, is that... Do I Donna this thing? We're going to go into Donna. Donna hasn't had much use. She's been kind of... Uh, kind of MIA for this episode, at least. Yeah, that's the... Okay, the Parabo is the little thing I just caught. I fucking... I'm so bad at this. Well, Stone Edge going to kill you. Look at that rainbow-ass tail you got there. Pretty neat tail you got, friend. Falling from the sky. You sure are. Okay, we can cut this tree as it leads to a freaking berry, which better be a good one. It's a key berry. No idea what the hell a key berry is. I feel like there are so many berries in the world of Pokemon that I do not even know about. Hey, would you look at that? It's a Monstrap. Wild Monstrap, huh? It's pretty cool. And, okay, no, now we're going to get into the into the forest, ice, or the jungle, or whatever. I assume. Empty trash can. Yeet. Yep, now we've arrived in the tropical jungle. I was going to say, that shit didn't look too tropical. At least now here it's raining. And uh, we can catch the first thing we come across, which is cool. So, hopefully it's something new. Hey, it's one of those little bug rays. Nice. Well, bug ray. Um, you know the drill. We just will wisp you and miss. And, uh... Swagger, huh? And then you missed you. How would Swagger miss? I don't under I don't understand. Ooh, a speed boost, so it is like a ninja -esque. I called it. Okay, so we get the burn. Now it heckin' swaggers us, but that's fine because we're not gonna do much attacking. Let's see if we can just catch him. And we doing lots of lots of catching this episode. Come on, Ultra Ball, don't fail me now. I think I have a net ball or something. I'm pretty sure I just saw it. It's good for bug boys, right? Or is it Is it net ball or which one is it? I think it's net ball. Well, we caught it anyway, so. My homeboy Bug Ray out here is a bug flying type. Swarm humans and wander into the jungle, leaving bites that would remain itchy even after days. Repels specifically made to counter them are commodity in the tropics. Well, you know what, buddy? We're going to name you Raymond. <laughs> because that just seems kind of funny. Bug May, Bug Ray named Raymond. Cool. Well, probably not going to ever use that thing, but at least we caught something new, so that's fine. Anyway, continuing into the jungle, we got all sorts of jungly shit going on in here. Found ourselves a PP up. Nice. We'll take it. What's up, buddy? Tropic Jungle is a perfect place to train my strong Pokemon, huh? Well, so since it's raining, fire's going to be decreased damage. Ooh, we got a Lazloth. Lazloth. What is this damn thing? It seems like it's probably just a normal type. I'm going to switch into Donna because Donna can usually handle things. Why does it look like it's wearing a... Is it wearing like a, a hoodie? What is this? Sleep talk. Lazy boy trying to sleep. Look at his little belly button. Look at that button. <laughs> I love him. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. This thing is a fucking defensive beast and that body slam kind of hurts um, we're just going to continue to drill run i guess a couple more times why are you so bulky sweet jesus okay donna as long as you don't die we're good this next attack would kill but we're still going to hyper potion anyway because because i'm spooked what if i get minimum damage and then he crits me or something it would it'd just be a bad time please sleep talk again that'd be great oh more body slams this thing looks like a real animal that's just wearing a Pokemon's disguise. What, what is this? What the hell's going on here? Yeah, so wasted the Hyper Potion, but better safe than sorry. Donna goes to 54, too. Nice. Next is a Tapire. No idea what the hell a Tapire is, so we gotta stay in. Oh, no, we do know this thing. It's the little, little fire elephant lad. Drill Run should knock it out. Yes, it does. What are you doing out here with a Tapire? That thing looks like it would be a shiny variant, but it's not. Troll boy, you're the full 43. Nice. And, uh, alrighty then. Well, how far is this jungle? Gotta find this guy doing his damn research. 
Bug Ray, get the hell out of here, boy. Is that all there is in here? Place just full of bug rays. Found a power lens. I think that just increases the t uh, bug moves. Seems fitting for this area. We can go ahead and chop this here down. We'll go ahead and snippity snap ya. And probably a good item, I would think. Damp rock. That increases the turns of the rain. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Hey, if you got a rain team working. Ooh, what are you, Brachio? Bra Braccio? Okay, I, I kind of like it. We're going to run from you, though. This thing's actually pretty sweet looking. What else we got? More just little Brachios. Well, I kind of wish that you were my encounter. Seems like a cool grass type, but... That's fine. We'll just take Raymond. We're totally fine with Raymond. And hey, a gro Groilla. 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 Groilla? Look at this little guy. Okay, kind of cool. Little monkey in the jungle. Gorilla in the jungle. And a hacking bug catcher guy. What's up? Stop! My army of bug rays will beat you. Oh, Jesus. He has an army. You hear that? This guy's got an army of bug rays. He has fucking four of them. Of course he does. Level 43 bug ray, huh? Well, we'll just flame throw you. Yeet. We have a roasted bug. We don't care about the rain. Flame flamethrower. Still be coming through. Next is, wouldn't you guess it, a bug ray. Why do they do this? Level 43? Like, no, this is not a threat to anybody. Your bug rays are not scary. No matter how hard you try. And look at that. Oh, another bug ray. Whatever will I do? Please die. Thank you. Yeet. And one freak. Oh, no. False alarm. He has a Draco fly now. That thing is fucking sick looking. That is a really cool dragonfly. I kind of like this thing's design better than, uh, like Yan Mega or Yanma. That is sick. Don't hit yourself, Ranja. Yay, we break through. Flamethrower does hit. Does my thing evolve into Draco fly? Does Raymond evolve into freaking Draco? That would be badass. Why does it seem like this thing would be dark type? It's just dark as hell. I'm afraid. We're just going to click Shadow Ball anyway. Don't hit yourself. Yay, we break through. All right. Lucky on the confusions, which I'm usually not, so we're happy about that. My bug rays. We had three of them. And then over here, we got ourselves a Hyper Potion. Am I supposed to hop down that ledge? I don't remember seeing that lady. Uh, now we go across across the old bridge. Perhaps so. There is uh, wild tampires in here, so it does not seem like a very fire mon friendly place. But, uh, that's cool. Watch your step. The flowers here are very rare. There's like one flower. I ain't stepping on your flowers, friend. Don't worry, Harrison. He's got a slugga. What the fuck is that? So, I'm assuming it's probably not a gas type. It's gotta be a fucking poison type or something, right? Shadow Ball with a crit does knock it out, though. So many new Pokemon. That's what I love about this game, is that they've just added so many in a Brachiodon. So, that's the, um... The evolved form of that freaking thing we seen. Level 45, lad. It's kind of a kind of a tropius without the bananas. And Jesus, that flamethrower did nothing. But we do get a burn, though. So in case it hits us with like a rock move, that'd be great. Giga Drain, actually. That's fine. You can Giga Drain me all you want, sir. Ain't gonna get you too far. So the burn kind of helps us out a little bit. I should probably just Shadow Ball. But, I mean, flamethrower is still probably gonna do more. Even though it's raining, we're just gonna, we're just gonna see. We'll experiment. Okay, it does do more. Obviously, it does more. Okay, well, Giga Drain, and the burn's gonna kill you. We've been getting a lot of burns with Flamethrower today, actually, too. What is up with that? Well, you did. Okay, well, guys, we are gonna end the episode here. Next time, we're gonna figure out where the hell this gym leader is, because this jungle is freaking lush. But we'll find him. Look, at I'm gonna step on this flower, too. What are you gonna fucking do about it, buddy? Stepped all over that flower. But, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.